Okay, what would a pacifist think about gun ownership? Firstly, let's start with where pacifism originated, and then we'll end with a pacifist perspective. It came from the French word pacifisme, which dates back as far as 1901. However, it does not have the same root word as peace. Peace is a much older word that stems from the Anglo-French word pay, which then stems from the Latin word pacema or pax. The earliest mention of pacifism in the Bible is in Matthew chapter 5 during the Sermon of the Mount in verse 9, where Jesus says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Now, among other religions and societies, such as Buddhism and the Romans, similar beliefs were adopted. So, what is a pacifist? The overall concept of pacifism is a person who believes that war and violence are unjustifiable. Below that, we have absolute pacifists who believe it is never right to take part in violence, even in self-defense. Then we have conditional pacifists who are against violence and war, but accept that the alternative may sometimes be worse. Next, we have our selective pacifists who only oppose weapons of mass destruction, such as nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons. And then we have our active pacifists, or those who are heavily involved in politics to promote peace and argue against wars. We saw a lot of active pacifists around the Vietnam War era. But why do people want to own a gun? In 2015, 63% of people said it was for protection against other people. 40% said it was for hunting, 34% said they liked to collect them, 28% said it was for sport, 20% of people said it was for protection against animals, and 40% said it was for their occupation or other uses. Excuse me. In the past 20 years, gun ownership has increased to roughly 400 million varying firearms in a population of about 330 million people. Just to give you uh, um, an idea of like how many are out there. We usually see a spike in firearm purchases around tragedies such as like social unrest and when there are folks uh, talking about adding more restrictions to uh, the purchase of firearms and their accessories. And then here is a cartoon of a shootout between two cowboys who don't really like guns. I thought it was a fun little take on the term shootout. All right, so now the pacifist view from the four aforementioned types of pacifists are simply put that they believe nonviolence is a way of life for courageous people. They seek to win friendship and understanding through nonviolence. They seek to defeat injustice, not people. They believe that voluntary suffering can educate and transform. They choose to love instead of hate, and they believe that the universe is on the side of justice. So owning a firearm does not always directly correlate with going against any of these viewpoints. You could very much be like a selective or like even a conditional pacifist. All right, and here's another interesting and humorous cartoon about how we share almost all of our DNA with a gorillas, but between humans and gorillas, gorillas are the pacifists, not us. Okay, so here is a link of an article that I found about a man who just so happens to be a pacifist, who also owns a firearm, and also happens to be a part-time Mennonite pastor. Some of the things he mentions in his article were from a conversation that he had at a dinner party where he mentions that he, quote, keeps his guns in a locked safe to ensure that he cannot reach them quickly enough to hurt his enemies, end quote. So he like casually mentions that he owns guns, but then actively chooses not to use them in any act of self-defense 
or in any way that could potentially harm another human being, being it like a friend or a foe. He goes on to say that Christian defenselessness emerges from faith, not optimism about human nature or any illusions about how effective nonviolent resistance is. He says that to hunt is to receive a gift and to please not deny him those gifts from God. In the Bible, though, it says that every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And later it says to take up your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me. So God is saying in like these like parts of the Bible in Genesis where that all living creatures, um, essentially besides humans, are to be food for humans. So hunting is as natural as like breathing air in this context. But what the author of this article is saying that the only reason that he owns a firearm of any kind is to ease hunting wildlife to feed him and his family. And he argues that his freedom cannot be secured by firearms. Their only purpose is for peaceable uses. So the only reason why he owns any guns at all is to hunt, I think he said quail in the article. And that's like his, I guess, hunt of choice. And lastly, here's a funny cartoon of a man wearing a shirt with a peace sign on it hunting an Amazon drone near someone's mailbox. I thought it was kind of ironic and it made me chuckle. Um, so that is my topic of what would a pacifist think about gun ownership? And then this is just my work cited where I got all of my facts and information and some of the photos.